Here's a Henry Parsons lesson. <laughs> secret to this song is when he is picking this thing he is all backstroke down to up and then he's like doing it and muting it he's he and okay and the other thing that's cool about this song is it's a one two three four five count to five but anyway here's what we're talking about This is going to be the D string on the fourth fret, pointer finger. Then I'm going to use the birdie finger to go to the fifth fret D string. And then I'm going to take that, this is important, that birdie finger that I'm on and slide to the sixth fret. Okay? And uh, when I do that, then I'm going to go back to the A string on the seventh fret and I'm going to go back straight. somewhere they do it that way where they go okay and right there that's just because that's the open E mixed with this one back back up backwards that's the key to this whole freaking song it's so so cool I watched a video of Hauser playing it and I could see he was going back I was like okay there you go uh, I had so much fun learning this one and then the next one is uh, is the A string just uh, like this. Fifth, sixth, seventh, using the pointer finger, the birdie finger, and the ring finger. And on this one, you're gonna roll back. That's basically, you're doing an, an e, e, open E note on the E string, and then press it down here on the A string second, and then get these two guys and almost kind of mute kind of mute everything up and try to approach it try to approach it close to to these two strings the e and the a and backwards one two three four five okay and so that's that's the deal that's the deal um and you can alternate how you're doing that and you can watch the videos to see which one you like and whatnot um so anyway so that's that's that and then uh, when it goes to the solo, it does switch to A. And he's doing some A pentatonic. Some of that pentatonic stuff. And then it goes to E. And then he moves down here. And his E minor pentatonic or some Dorian sounded like in there. And that's just jamming on it. I'll get to that maybe another lesson. But, uh, and then there's the other part. So that is E, and he does, when he does, when JB does these bar chords, he was doing this like a seven chord, but he's not hitting that seven. He's just really kind of hitting the second, first and second string, and maybe getting some of that in, but so basically it's E, G, A, A uh, B flat, B. Uh, G, which is on the third fret, seven, then uh, A, 
which is on the fifth fret, and then B flat, which is on the sixth, uh, six, B, B flat, A. That's the, um, it's an E9, I believe, and you're on the A string on the um, seventh fret with your birdie finger, and then you're on the D string, uh, sixth fret with your pointer, and then you're on the uh, G string, uh, seventh with your ring finger, and then your uh, B string, uh, eighth, and then everything, all the other open strings you can hit, just that Hendrix chord. Lady chord. But anyway, there you go, guys. Have fun with that.